Welcome back to the news at 10. Two communities in Okero, local government area of Kwara State, are at loggerheads over who has the authority to announce the commencement of eating of new yams in their domain. The feud has led to the death of three people and destruction of property, leaving the state government and police with no option but to slam a curfew on both communities. Our committee report tonight takes a look at the cause of the crisis. News of death and destruction from clashes between communities is never pleasant to tell, especially when the reason for the violence is as unbelievable as the aftermath. Here in Kara State, two traditional rulers have thrown their communities into turmoil over who will be responsible for announcing what to them appears to be the most important thing in the world, a yam festival. The feud is said to have peaked when the king of Ilofa community belled the cat to make the pronouncement first. His livid counterpart from Odorwa, based on his belief of being higher in hierarchy, countered the call and stormed the market. The rest is unrest. A senior aide to the state governor on security intelligence speaks on the events that followed. An Ilova community woman went to the market to sell new yam to bus. But he said Olota, that's the traditional rule of Odowa, went to the market to block the gate and sent the woman away. And before we you know anybody knew anything, you know, an army of you know harmed men. Talks, we brought talks to the town and started shooting. This is the grave of one of the victims. Petrified residents narrate the ordeal. All our properties have been destroyed. Since yesterday I've left my house. In fact, he said I've never eat anything. This is too much. The number of deaths over this matter is too much. In no time, security agents swoop in to control the situation the best way they can. And it takes some stinging to the eyes to calm the people. The commissioner of police in the state is directing his approach to the matter. No one will be allowed to break the law and get away with it. We have started investigation over the issue. My DC, CID is here with me. They have commenced investigation. And some least intelligence has been gathered. We have gotten the name of some of the culprits and we will go after them. And as soon as we get them, they will be prosecuted. A lot of dialogue will most likely be employed before this matter can be permanently resolved. But before that can happen, the anger and war of egos at play presently must first be doused. Otherwise, the smoke in the air might only get thicker. Sporters now, Nigeria Professional Football League leaders Plata United this evening suffer their seventh league defeat this season, but maintain their lead at the top of the table, two points above closest rivals MFM FC. The Joss-based side suffered a 1-0 defeat to El Kanemi Warriors. MFM defeated ABDS of Eloring by two goals to one to pick their 14th victory this season. Shooting Stars moved up to the 18th spot of the NPFL log following a 2-0 uh, victory against Wiki Tourists. Lobby Stars of Makodi defeated defending champions Inugu Rangers by three goals to one. In other league games, FC Fanyuba defeated Katsuna United by 2-0. Niger Tornadoes edged out Remo Stars by a lone goal. Aqua United also beat Ayumba by same scoreline. Nasara United and Gomba United drew one all. Nigeria's continental representative, Rivers United, hope of advancing to the knockout phase of the CAF Confederations Cup has been dimmed 
following a 0-2 defeat to Tunisia's Pam Afrika at the Yakubu Gowan Stadium in Port Harcourt. With the first half ending in a goalless draw, the Tunisian club side broke the deadlock through Manubi Haddad's powerful free kick, which beat Olufemi Thomas to make it 1-0 in the 62nd minute. Then, a late counter-attack led to Mokhtar Belkita scoring with a deflected shot, sealing Africans' hard-fought away victory. The victory took the Tunisian giants to the top of the Group A standings with nine points. Marjorie's Rivers United remained fourth with six points. World champions Germany are the FIFA Confederations Cup champions. Germany this evening be defeated Chile 1-0 in the final amidst more controversy over the video assistant refereeing system. Chile dominated much of the first half. However, Germany took the lead when a defensive error gave Lars Stendel a simple tap-in. Despite some close calls in the second half, Joachim Lowe's side held on to claim their first ever Confederations Cup title. Chile after 40 minutes in Kazan has scored earlier this time it's taken only 20 minutes for Lars Stindl to put the ball into the South Americans net the back is punished here and Lars Stindl will never score an easier goal as long as he plays professional football teed up for him here by Werner after that mistake by Diaz look at this how much more time would you like thank you very much one more attack here the ball is still pinging around that German penalty area down goes a Chilean player again it's over Germany have won the Confederations Cup for the first time in their history the first European winners since France the trophy belongs to Germany in 2017. We salute the best team of the tournament, the top scorers. A terrorist group affiliated to Al-Qaeda has released a video showing six foreign hostages, including a French NGO worker, an elderly Australian surgeon and a Colombian nun. The video was released ahead of President Emmanuel Macron's scheduled visit to Mali. The President's visit is expected to help consolidate Western backing for a regional force against the militants. President Macron says France and the Sahel G5 countries, which include Mali, Burkina Faso, Chad, Mauritania and Niger, had to work together to eradicate terrorists, thugs and murderers. He said France would put all its energy towards eradicating those who had kidnapped the French citizen identified as Sophie Petrona. In the meantime, U.S. President Donald Trump has continued his onslaught against the media in the United States by tweeting a short video clip of himself wrestling with a CNN logo for a head. A short clip is said to be an altered version of the president's appearance at a WWE wrestling event in 2007, during which he attacked franchise owner Vince McMahon in a scripted appearance. CNN says the president accuses the president of inciting violence against the media. And the main news again. Ogoni leaders today criticized the delay in kick-starting the much-publicized cleanup of their land. However, the project handlers have announced plans to meet with UNEP officials on the modalities for cleanups flag off. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks for watching. I am Amarachi Ivani. Good night.